Welcome to the Life and Business Podcast, where it's all about creating the results you want in life and business through intentional thinking. And now, here's CEO, speaker, author, and award-winning life and business strategist, Cleidra Gross. Hello, I hope you have had a wonderful week and you're ready for a wonderful new week. So I want to talk about how to increase your productivity, how to increase your productivity. I don't know about you, but it has been an interesting week for me. In North Carolina, where my mom lives, there was an earthquake. I had a girlfriend to call me to say how she really believed that we were in the end times of of life. (laughs) And so it got me thinking, how do we stay productive when we're surrounded by so many things that can get our attention? I mean, the news alone, I don't know about you, can have me sitting there thinking, OMG. So this week, I want to share how you can increase your productivity in the midst of it all, whether you're having to juggle children going back to school, or maybe you are spending more time alone because of social distancing. Independent of your day-to-day, there are results that you still want to create in your life. And every week, I want to help you create the results that really matter. And so step one with increasing your productivity, it goes to your mental inventory. So if you think about your mind like real estate, you need to know all that's on your mental property. And the way that you do that is you do what I call a thought download. But when it comes to productivity, I want you to specifically download what you want to happen in your life, what needs to happen. You know, if there are errands you need to run, if there are things that you need to remember, put all of that on paper. This is important because it will keep you from answering the latest and the loudest on the outside and actually bring you closer to what really matters to you. So once you have everything downloaded, your real estate downloaded on paper, then you can objectively then look at it and say, what are the outcomes that matter the most? What are the outcomes that matter the most? And so you circle those things. And then the next step is to ask yourself, what are the next best steps that I need to take? What's the next best step that I need to take to make that outcome come true. And so just to summarize, number one, you do a mental inventory. You put your brain on paper, which is a very powerful exercise. Our mind can hold on to four, maybe five things max. And then we just are are randomly just looping through different things that that are in our mind. And so we have to have a system of um, capturing our mental inventory. After you do that, step two, you want to get really clear on the outcomes that are most important to you. What really matters to you in this season in terms of what you want to create? And you don't have to think about all the way until December or the new year, just this week. What would make you feel productive if you accomplished it just in the next seven days? And then what actions, this is step three, need to be completed for you to then create those outcomes. So those three steps will help you to stop answering the latest and the loudest, whether it's from friends who think we are in the end times of life or from unexpected things of nature like an earthquake in North Carolina. It hasn't happened, I think my mom says, since 1916. You know, there are lots of things that are competing for your attention. But even in the midst of all of that competition, you can use these three steps to increase your productivity, all right? Now, if you want to come up with a system where you can have a roadmap to create the results that you want in life and business from a broader standpoint, to really zoom out 
for your life and say, what is it that I want this to be all about? You know, I told my girlfriend who said it's the end of times. If it is, then you know what? God's going to catch me being very productive. (laughs) What I'm not going to do is just sit on my couch and worry about whether it's the end times. Okay. And so if you share that desire to be about what you were sent here to do, then you need a roadmap. It's not going to randomly happen. So the roadmap to creating the results you want in your life and business is a class that I do in my Life and Business Academy, but I've pulled it out so that you can get a taste of what it's like to go deeper with the work that I do to have a system of capturing your thinking, to be able to use your brain in a powerful way, to be able to manage overwhelm and anxiety and procrastination in a way where you don't stay stuck so that you can still move your life forward in even in the midst of so much uncertainty and even in the midst of so many things competing for your time, energy, and attention. All right. So the roadmap to creating the results you want in your life and business, like I said, is a single class that I've pulled out of my mastermind series and you uh, can click on it below this video. It'll be somewhere around this video. All right. So that's what I have for you this week. Be encouraged. Know that taking these three steps will increase your productivity in the next seven days. All right. Enjoy your week. Take good care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.